In this lecture, we'll be testing the update and delete functionality. Right now we have two records. Let's change the price of iPhone to $800 from $700. The ID we should be using is one. So go back to the Chrome browser, ID one. It is an iPhone. All this doesn't matter. You can put whatever you want into the rest of the fields because on the server side, and we are doing an update, if you remember the code, we only care about the ID and the price. Although we are mapping everything in the update method, we get a product, but we use the ID and the price. The other two fields are not really being used. Name is iPhone. It's awesome. It's fine. Price should be 800 and select the put method, not the post method. Application XML is the content type. Send. We get a 200. OK back. Go to the database or your command prompt database prompt select execute now the price is $800 update works let's delete the macbook pro to do that go to the rest plugin advanced rest plugin select the delete method there should be no payload we don't need any payload the url should change from products to slash the id we need to pass in the id to be deleted click send and the response is 200 OK. Go to the database, execute the select again. Now we have only one record. So we have successfully completed all the CRUD operations, create, read, update, and delete.